Hey guys, I'm Sebastian, host of Night Violent Connection, and this is Carlos. You probably recognize him more than you ever would me. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We are gonna make some ramen. And one of the great things about ramen that I really love is that you can put anything in it. We're gonna make a basic, I got a couple packs of ramen here I'm gonna pick from. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna pick from. I'm gonna put an egg in it. I'm gonna cook up some spam, put it in there. And we're gonna do it all in this exclusive Aloha Shoryu information, Simon slash ramen slash fried rice slash anything bowl. Let's check it out. If you're interested in getting one of these, which I know you probably are, hit up Aloha Shoryu's website. That's the only place you're gonna find this right now. All right, so I have a, a few different types of ramen in my cabinet, just because I just buy different ramen. If I see it on sale, if I see a different flavor, I just grab a pack because I've never had it before. So I got my standard five pack here. This is just my everyday, whenever you're just feeling like some ramen, right? And then I saw these guys. This is like a vegetarian kimchi. Oh, Mike's. Never saw this before, but I picked it up. And then this one here, I got a pork tonkatsu ramen being that i love kimchi i'm gonna go with the old kimchi ramen right here and i'm gonna cook up some spam being that ramen it doesn't matter what brand you buy already typically has a lot of sodium in it and i'm not getting any younger so i'm going with the spam light so i'm just gonna fry this up in the pan i'm not gonna add any butter any oil because again i want to keep it as light as i can One of the things that I'm doing here is I'm cutting thicker slices of the Spam here because I'm going to cut them into like fries. I do have a musubi kit, but that one is going to cut them a little bit thinner than what I want for the ramen. So once that's all sliced up, I'm just going to toss it in the pan and crisp them up. So again, because Spam is already salty enough, I'm using low sodium or Spam light. I'm not putting any butter, I'm not putting any oil in there, nothing, none of that. I'm gonna add a little bit of my low sodium shoyu just for some flavor. So when you're cooking this, you know that you wanna go ahead and make sure you flip them so you get them nice and crisp on all sides. I also wanna make sure that the shoyu completely coats my Spam fries here on all sides. My little Spam sticks are ready. So now I'm just gonna take them, set them aside right there. Now that my Spam is done, this is the easy part. It's time to just prep my other ingredients. I see that this says insanely rich broth, which is fantastic. I'm not adding anything at all to the broth, but you know what, like I said at the beginning, it's ramen, put whatever you want in there, get crazy. So for me, I'm gonna add a couple of pork dumplings. I'm gonna put a boiled egg. I'm gonna add some green onion. I got my spicy Chinese sausage. Now this one here, typically Chinese sausage tends to be sweet, but there is a spicy option. And I've got my Spam that you guys saw me cook earlier. And for a little extra kick, I'm gonna add a little bit of togarashi. Don't forget your veggies. I'm gonna add some bean sprouts. Let's get cooking the Brahmin. What I like about these types of pre-packaged is that they've got all your seasoning, your spices, anything that you need, they have in there for the broth. 
Since I don't have to do anything really about the broth, I'm gonna add some extra ingredients that I like, starting with the green onions. You can really put whatever you like in yours. There's my Spam, everything coming together nicely. Some people like to pre-boil or even do like a shoyu egg, something like that. I like to just drop my egg right in there while the broth is on simmer and just let it cook right in the ramen. The last thing I'm putting in mine is gonna be my bean sprouts. Now I put this in last and I just leave them in there for a little bit because I like them to stay crisp. All right, so we're all done on the stovetop. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to this super cool information collab with Aloha Shoyu. This is a real sturdy Simon ramen, fried rice, whatever you wanna do, it's a really good bowl. Look at that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more green onions because I just love green onions. I don't know about you guys, I like a little extra spice, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some togarashi right there to just kick it up a little bit. I just love the added spice, and it's not overwhelming, just adds more flavor and a little bit kick to it. Then I'm gonna add my dumplings in, lastly, so that they don't get overly soaked in there, and I'm ready to eat, guys. All right, guys, we're all done. It's been extra cold here in Vegas, the ninth island. I am ready to eat.